I just got off work and I was reading the comments and y'all were talking about how y'all don't want me to change my videos. Y'all like the format and how I jump around and it made me emotional and I was really appreciative and guys, the light turned green so I gotta go. First of all, I'm hungover. And second of all, it is what it is, okay? <laughs> I had a good time last night with the person that y'all thought was my fiance this whole time. Everyone thinks we're engaged. <laughs> Anyways, what I was trying to say was, I appreciate y'all appreciating me. I got a little emotional reading all the comments and y'all said that y'all love my show the way that it is and y'all don't want me to change it. And it, 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 it tug at my heartstrings a little bit. It reminded me of a time when I got fired from a job because of my personality. <laughs> she literally said, it was my personality. So I had a problem with that. I didn't know what the fuck was wrong with me <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> I still don't. But, you know, I survived. Then it also reminded me of a time that I turned down a show. A major network reached out to me. I went through all the interviews and they finally sent me the contract. But two days after they sent me the contract, that's when the whole arrest thing happened. And that whole thing happened because the neighbors created this narrative about who I was and who was in the van. So the neighbors and the cops surrounded me. There was a moment where I thought that like this was the end for me. So it was really, uh, traumatizing i i just don't want to feel like i have to be somebody different or i have to censor myself to be on the show so i am not going to participate in the show are you just concerned that you can't post your truth and sign the contract is that your concern well yeah it's it's that and it's i know that once i i sign the contract i'm screwed they can manipulate and change whatever storyline to make me look however they want me to look. And I can't defend myself because that would be breach of contract. Once it's out there, it's out there. And it's really hard to change someone's first impression of you. You know what I mean? There are people in that neighborhood who still think that there were two men in the van. So I didn't do the show because I wanted to be the creator of my own story. Anyways, let's get started on this road trip. <laughs> so I washed my car, packed my clothes, and drove to New Orleans to see my fiance. She had a whole day of fun planned for me, and our first stop was not at this red light. It was the second line. And if you don't know what the second line is, you gotta look it up. Next time you're in New Orleans, you've got to go to the second line. Then we made our way to a brewery, and after all that beer, I had to make a pit stop and take some selfies. And I had to soak up all that beer with some food. So we went for a stroll to watch the sunset, and then a fried chicken festival. So I got some food, I just got some fried wings and fried rice, and Bay looks like she got breast and thighs hey speaking of breast is anyone having friendsgiving or thanksgiving in florida i used to host friendsgiving every year before i moved into my car and i miss it so if you're hosting and you have space for us mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. would like to come and visit i need a whole party vibe drinks and music and people and friends and family and food and games and all of that stuff you know i said florida but if you're in florida or near florida send an invite just go to my website the link is in my bio and oh, that was the first time i said the link is in my bio the link link is in my bio <laughs> and send us the invite. My mechanic, Terrell, came to check out the car before I hit the road. And ladies, I read the comments. I was trying to get him to come look under your hood, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Try to get that old change. <laughs> Some of y'all need that high mileage oil, but 
they ain't got nothing to do with me because I know he got that lube. Anyway, I'm in Houston, in Houston, Texas. And I got here later than I wanted, so I only had time for a quick bite before dark. And I was craving oysters, so I went to this place called La Fisheria. Best oysters I have ever had. So good. I was supposed to go to some park so that I can install my bed. I just put the pillows and blankets in so that I could do it later. On the way to where I'm trying to go, I saw this really cool area. It looked like a lot of people outside and just it looked like a fun time. So I'm trying to find my way back without putting in the GPS because that's another thing I like to do. I just like to see if I can figure out how to get to wherever I need to go. So I'm going in the direction. I'm just going to keep straight and see if it takes me back to where I was. So I did find my way back. Hooray to me. But what is this? Oh, you guys, this is not what I thought it was. Oh, these are, what is this place? Oh, are these homeless people? Oh, I thought it was a party. Oh no. Y'all have no idea how ready I was to just get into shenanigans. I literally got off the highway to see what this was all about and I didn't care. I was like, whatever it is, I'm down for it. But I am finding that I am Starting to have standards. <laughs> <laughs> I found my way to the Planet Fitness. Can y'all hear me? Like I was saying, I can at least get my bed prepared. I've been toying around with the idea of how I want to install my bed this time. I think that I want to do the front seat. I prefer to keep my bed in the back because if someone needs a ride, they can just sit in there. My bed doesn't move. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out maybe I could just do it like that for this trip. I'll figure it out. It might work. The problem is the seat doesn't move all the way forward. So the back doesn't go all the way down. I'm at an angle and I feel like throughout the night, I'll probably slide down. I have to use my Bernie blanket. I've had this blanket since I was seven years old. I'll try it. It's finally time to shower so I can get ready for bed. But first, I gotta find where I'm gonna park. This is how we do it. Open up Google Maps and switch to satellite. Zoom in to the nearest neighborhood. And as you can see, there's some parallel parking. But I can tell that this is a nice neighborhood and I'm not trying to have the cops called on me again. So let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Here's a car dealer. I've parked there before. But anyways, I am just looking around until I find parallel parking on both. Oh, ah, there it is. Looks like home to me. And I was right. This is where I'll park tonight. I am here. I'm parked. This is what it is. I'm not super comfy. It's hot, 78. When it's hot like this, I'm normally in my van because I can at least open my windows. I used to crack my windows when I first got in the car, but when someone tried to break into my car, I stopped doing that. I just had someone try to get inside my car. I think what freaked me out the most is that my windows are cracked. All of my windows are cracked. So if they really wanted to get in, they could have. I might need to tonight because it's, it's really hot, but I do have my fan here. Anyway, good night. Good morning. It's rainy, it's humid in here. I didn't sleep the best. I can't do my bed like this tomorrow. At some point today, I'm gonna have to fix this. <sighs> but it's really early, nothing is open. So I'm gonna lay here for a bit and wait for the sun to come up. y'all can see it's a rainy rainy morning and I don't want any parts of this so I'm going somewhere else that's the beauty of van life living in your car you can go anywhere you want and I do not want to be in the rain I had a few things planned for today but fuck it I'm going somewhere else where it's sunny I took a shower, then took myself to breakfast to figure out where I'm off to next. I see blue skies peeking through, and I see buggies. It's perfect time to get off the highway. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the bed in the back because I can't, I can't do this. I'm 
so much better. Let's go. We've arrived to Dallas. And I made a quick pit stop so that I can pre-game before I go to the place that I'm going to because there is only one way for you to enjoy this experience of the place I'm going to. It. It's a lot of strange things going on around here. And if y'all hadn't figured out, I am at Meow Wolf. And I wasn't here for long until I realized that this is a black house. It's a black house, y'all. A black house. Now, some people will say, why does that matter? And most of those people saying it are white. And this is not going to be like a whole thing. Like, Relax, everybody relax. White people, your faces are everywhere. We all know this. Go to the picture frames aisle and, and the stock photos of the frames, white faces are everywhere. These are just facts. So to go to an establishment like this and it's a whole, it's a black house and see people that look like you. That is something I've never experienced before. Something that I didn't even think that I needed. I grew up with white dolls and black dolls. I had all kinds of dolls. It just wasn't that important to me. I was taken aback in the best way. Meow Wolf, thank you for that. There's all kinds of people all over and we should all be seen. Just seeing that made me feel welcome. And I hope all of y'all feel welcome here. Like all of y'all are welcome, everyone. And don't let anyone make you feel any differently in the comments because I know how it gets in there. I love y'all. I will crack jokes on y'all. Everyone's getting it. White people. I made it to the Grand Canyon and I'm pulling over to do some white people shit. I see all these white people. <laughs> black people. And now that I had my field doing white people shit, it's time for me to do black people shit. I gotta go to court. <laughs> Asians. No, you're about to hit my man again. But they're just jokes, folks. I love y'all and y'all are welcome here. And I don't just see y'all as my flowers, uh, followers. I My flowers, <gasps> mother nature and her flowers. <gasps> I love it. And my videos is the water that makes y'all happy and strong. <laughs> I'm 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 giving y'all water. I'm watering my I'm watering my flowers when I post videos. I'm watering my flowers. I love it. I love it. Anyways, back to when I found out that it was a black house, I immediately ran to the kitchen to look for wrap snacks and gin and juice. <laughs> <laughs> But when I opened the refrigerator, it led me down a hall to more refrigerators. And then that led me to a place that looked like the upside down, which then turned into an RV. And y'all know I felt like home there. And then suddenly I was in Mars and that turned in more refrigerator. Oh, gin and juice, found it. All right, and then I ended up in this place that made me feel like I was on mushrooms, but that could have been, well, never mind. So many places to explore. But I settled on a little tree house so that I can sit and enjoy the view while I figure out where I'm off to next. So stay tuned. 